uh, so we are continuing this chapter admission of a partner and the topic also we are continuing the same topic new profit sharing ratio uh, we already worked out two illustrations that is illustration 1 and 5 Five, we have to apply the formula. Illustration one, we just assume the total share is one. Whereas in five, since the sacrificing ratio is mentioned in the question, we have to apply that formula. What's the formula we learned? New share is equal to from old share. You have to exclude the sacrificed pro proportion. So the formula is new share is equal to old share minus. the surrendered share or sacrificed share write that formula within brackets within box sorry within box you have to write that formula illustration 5 if you are getting confused don't worry we'll be working out the similar type of problem now that is illustration number 4 illustration 4 the question is A and B are partners sharing profits in the ratio 5 is to 4 that is the old ratio given they admit C for 1 by 10th share of profits so new partners C is the new partner he should be given 1 by 10th of the profits 1 by 10th share of profits which he acquires in equal proportions from both that means from both A and B find the new profit sharing ratio here can you assume the total share as 1 and find the remaining share and all that method is not applicable in this question only for the first type of questions you can apply that particular method what was the speciality of that question we were having or we were given only two information one is old ratio and the other one was share of incoming partner share of new partner only if you if you having these two information you can apply the first method that is assume the total share as one and all whereas in this particular question we have how this partner is acquiring his share from a and b how these partners are sacrificing that is what gained by c the new partner so how they are sacrificing is given in the question in that type of question you have to apply the formula that you must remember if the sacrificing proportion or sacrificing ratio is given in the question you must apply the formula or else assume the total share as one so only these two methods we have don't get confused so now we'll apply the formula that is we have to get the new ratio so we'll write new ratio is equal to you can either write it as new ratio is equal to old ratio minus sacrificing ratio but when we continue the problem you have to take the proportions if the ratio is given like 2 is to 1 and when you do this problem you have to take the proportion 2 by 3 and 1 by 3 so you can write the formula like this also like new share is equal to old share minus sacrificed share or it can be also called as surrendered share anything you can write both are correct old share minus surrendered share now here what is mentioned about how these partners a and b are surrendering they will be giving half of 1 by 10 isn't it what did they mention in the question which he acquires in equal proportion he is to be given c is to be given 1 by 10 and he will be acquiring this 1 by 10 equally from a and b so what will be a is sacrifice a will be sacrificing half of 1 by 10 so how will you write that half means 1 by 2 of means into half of 1 by 10 this is how you have to do what is half of 1 by 10 1 by 20 there are chances for you to write answer as 1 by 5 answer of uh, sorry half of 1 by 10 is 1 by 20 not 1 by 5 do calculations carefully okay then similarly you have to get b is sacrifice b also will be sacrificing the same half of 1 by 10 that is 1 by 20 again now we'll apply the formula that is new share is equal to old share minus 
the sacrificed share old share is what is the old ratio given in the question 5 is to 4 is the old ratio given in the question so old share this is we'll write a's new share specifically you have to compute for a b and c always remember when you write the new ratio you have to include the new partner also so a's new share will be equal to already we have written the formula so old share old share is 5 by 9 you have to take the proportion 5 by 9 5 plus 4 that is total 5 by 9 minus what is the proportion he sacrificed a sacrificed 1 by 20 now how will you solve this you can do cross multiplication or else what you can do is take LCM take LCM and convert both are correct now if you do cross multiplication how it will be 100 minus 9 divided by 20 into 9 you should know how to calculate or how to solve all these this is basic mathematics cross multiplication or when you multiply two fractions how it will be you can't cancel 2 and 10 like this you can't take 1 by 5 as the answer so all these basic calculations you must learn okay now finally the answer is 91 divided by 180 similarly we will do for who's the other partner b that is b's new share is equal to what was b's old proportion 4 by 9 5 is to 4 is the ratio so b's will be 4 by 9 minus 1 by 20 so similarly you do the calculation for b also do cross multiplication or else you can take lcm and do 20 and 9 the lcm will be 180 so you can do like that also so 80 minus 9 divided by 180 the answer will be 71 by 180 don't forget to write c's share he is the new partner and c's new share will be equal to what is c's new share he should be given 1 by 10 for writing the final ratio this is not the end of your answer we have to write the final ratio between a b and c that time you have to see whether the base are same for every partner here 180 is the base so you have to convert this c's proportion also into 180 then the answer will be you have to just multiply it by 18 so numerator also you will be multiplying by 18 so finally the answer is 91 isn't it 91 was the first ratio 91 is to 71 is to 80 yes that's answer and if possible you must convert or you must cancel it to the lowest form possible if you don't have time for your exam for your board exam you can just stop with this calculation even if the numbers are bigger you can just stop with this ratio but you must finally write the ratio whether it is big or small you must write the ratio finally don't stop with this okay so this is similar to illustration 5 that we did before next is illustration number 6 where the question is a and b are partners in a firm there are also old ratios given that is 3 is to 2 a surrenders so how they are sacrificing or how they are surrendering is mentioned in the question so can we assume the total share as 1 no here we have to apply the formula because it is given how they are sacrificing so a surrenders 1 by 5th of his share read that sentence very carefully what is a sacrifice 1 by 5 of of means you have to write into of what his share his share means whose share we are talking about a so a is surrendering 1 by 5 of a's share what is a's proportion there it is in the old ratio 3 by 5 that is a's share or a's proportion out of that he will be sacrificing 1 by 5 i'll be showing how to write that whereas b surrenders 2 by 5th of of means always write into multiplication in favor of c the new partner we have to get the new ratio so here also we will have to apply the formula so write the formula first though you don't know how to solve all these 
write the formula first we have only two methods either you have to assume as total share as one or else you will have to apply the formula so new share is equal to old share minus surrendered share or sacrificed share now uh, we have a and b isn't it yes so a is before you write a is new share we need to get what is a is surrendered share or sacrificed share so a is sacrifice or surrendered share is equal to what is a sacrificing he is surrendering 1 by 5th of his share 1 by 5th of means into his share means a and b sharing profits and losses in the ratio 3 is to 2 so this will be 1 by 5 of a share is 3 by 5 so what did we do now we are just writing what is given in the question that sentence we are just writing in the form of an equation that's all so a sacrifice is equal to 1 by 5 of so into his share is 3 by 5 so it will be you can't do cross multiplication here the symbol here is multiplication so it will be 3 by just multiply this 1 into 3 3 by 25 okay then the next is b sacrifice that is equal to what is b sacrificing 2 by 5 of his share his share means we are talking about b now so his share is 2 by 5 just multiply this 2 into 2 4 by 25 this is how you have to solve this there is something else also that is we have to get the final answer that is the new share or new ratios so a's new share will be equal to what is a's old share 3 by 5 minus 3 by 25 so here also what you have to do is you can't simply deduct like this 3 minus 3 is equal to don't write 0 by 25 and all don't do calculations like that so what you have to do is either you do cross multiplication or you have to take lcm make the base as same see here it would be easy if you make the base as same so multiply it by 5 so numerator also multiply we have to multiply by 5 or else you have to do 25 into 3 75 minus 5 into 3 15 divided by 25 into 5 125 likewise also you can do this will be easy here so 15 minus 3 divided by 25 that is 12 by 25 all these are basic mathematics it's not accountancy actually so you have to learn these basic mathematics how to solve this that you have to learn first yes so a's new share we got 12 by 25 similarly we'll do b's new share that is equal to old share of b is 2 by 5 minus sacrificed share is 4 by 25 <coughs> so it is similarly <coughs> we'll do this so multiply it by 5 numerator and denominator then it will be 6 by 25 we have one more partner c the new partners new share will be directly given in the question usually now if you see this question c's new share is not given usually it will be given like c is admitted for 1 by 4th share or c is admitted for 1 by 10th share but in this particular question we don't have c's new share so what you will do what a and b sacrifice will be same as what c is gaining or what c gets so here a and b is sacrificing 3 by 25 and 4 by 25 so if you add these two that will be the new share of c you understood a and b sacrificing to give something in favor of c the new partner so what they sacrifice will be equal to what c is getting or what c's new share so it is equal to 3 by 25 plus 4 by 25 so that is you just have to add these since the base is same 
you can just add the numerators and take it is 7 by 25. These calculations you must do very carefully. There are chances for you to make careless mistakes. Okay. The, here the new share of B is 6. Final ratio is 12 is to 6 is to 7. Then the next portion is now we are learning how to calculate the new ratio. Next you give the heading sacrificing ratio. Already we learned how to get sacrificing ratio formula also. Because from the same formula we can get sacrificing ratio also. So you give the heading sacrificing ratio. Okay, what is the meaning of sacrificing ratio? Sometimes they will be asking for one mark question. What is sacrificing ratio? The ratio in which the old partners, old partners like A and B or they can be called as existing, existing or old partners. So ratio in which old or existing partners sacrifice their share of profit in favor of C. Don't write C when you write the meaning. You can call him as the new partner. Understood? The ratio in which the existing or old partners sacrifice their share of profit in favor of C, the new partner. That is the meaning of sacrificing ratio. And what can be the formula for sacrificing ratio? Already we wrote the formula for new ratio or new share. Both are correct. When we do problems, we are writing new share because we are taking proportion. Directly, we will not write 3 is to 2, minus 2 is to 1 and all. We have to do like 3 by 5, minus 2 by 3. So, new ratio is equal to what we can write is the same thing. Instead of old share, we will write old ratio minus surrendered share or sacrificing share. Or here we can mention ratio. So, from the same thing, you can get the formula for sacrificing ratio. So, minus sacrificing ratio is taken to this side. So, it is positive. Sacrificing ratio is equal to what is there on the right hand side? Old ratio minus just take this new ratio to the opposite side. So, it will be minus new ratio. So, the formula for sacrificing ratio. Ratio is old ratio minus new ratio. Did we study anything new? No. It is from the same formula. New ratio formula already we learned. And it is from the same formula we are getting sacrificing ratio also. We will work out illustration number 12. Okay, illustration 12, the question is, X and Y are partners sharing profits and losses in the ratio 7 is to 5. So, that is the old ratio. They admit, is it a new partner who acquires, how they are acquiring is given. So, you will have to apply the formula. 1 by 12th from X, there is a difference between 1 by 12th of X and from X. That you have to read very carefully. In previous question, it was 1 by not 1 by 12, the proportion was something else. But it was given like 1 by 12 of. So, we did into of that person's share we took. Here there is a difference. It is written 1 by 12 from his share. Suppose in this question x is having x and y the ratio is given as 7 is to 5. So, x is having a proportion of 7 by 7 plus 5, 12. From this the new partner is it is taking 1 by 12th. That means what is X sacrifice? He will be sacrificing what? He will be sacrificing 1 by 12th. Should we do 1 by 12th into his share and all? No need. 1 by 12th is directly taken from X. So this is the new share of X. So what is X sacrifice? 1 by 12. Again no need to do 1 by 12 into 7 by 12 and all. X is sacrificing 1 by 12. So that of his share and from his share both are different. You understood? From his share means directly you just have to take that proportion. 
whereas of his share means you have to do into no need to by heart this it is a simple logic from the uh, sentence itself you will understand 1 by 12th is taken from x means that is the proportion x is sacrificing similarly 1 by 6 is taken from y and we have to get two questions are there new ratio and sacrificing ratio here by reading the question itself you can write the sacrificing ratio see we learned one formula for calculating sacrificing ratio that is old ratio minus new ratio but here should we apply that formula even if you apply you will be getting the same answer so no need to waste your time what you can do is 1 by 12th is taken from x means we already wrote this is x sacrifice so x sacrifice new share we'll do later you can now write x sacrifice is equal to 1 by 12 now what will be y's sacrifice y is sacrificing 1 by 6 read the question 1 by 6 is taken from y should we do 1 by 6 into 5 by 12? No. That 1 by 6 is directly taken from y. So y sacrifices 1 by 6. So easily, did we do any calculations? No. We just simply wrote the proportions. When it is given 1 by 12 from or 1 by 6 from y's share. So this is the sacrificing proportion of x and y. They have asked you to get the sacrificing ratio so the sacrificing ratio is equal to how will you write this it is 1 by 12 is to 1 by 6 you can't write ratio like this so make the base as same the answer will be 1 is to 2 so easily we got the sacrificing ratio did we apply any formula? No need to apply any formula like new ratio minus old ratio. Even if you apply, you will be getting, sorry, I said the reverse. It is actually old ratio minus new ratio. But should we apply anything like that? No need because it is given directly 1 by 12 from x, 1 by 6 from y. Directly we got the sacrificing ratio. Next we have to get the new ratio. Should we assume total share as 1? No, here we have how they are sacrificing. So we can apply the formula that is old ratio or old share minus sacrificing share. Okay. So now old ratio or you can write old share also that is correct. When you do the problem, you have to take the share or the proportion. So, old share of, uh, is it ABC? X, Y, Z. So, X, new share, how will you do this? Old share of X is, okay, it is 7 is to 5. The ratio is 7 is to 5. So, 7 by 12 minus what is his sacrificing proportion. Okay, here also you have to be very careful. When you take, don't write 1 by 3. Don't go and write 1 by 3 as the sacrificing proportion. Here the sacrificing proportion of x is 1 by 12. You have to write that. Did you understand? Be very careful. I will tell you one thing. See 1 is to 2 that is the sacrificing ratio. Sacrificing ratio and sacrificing proportion both are different. Ratio is 1 is to 2. If you write the ratio here directly, it will be 1 by 3. The answer will be wrong. So, always write. That is what I wrote in the beginning. We are writing new share is equal to old share minus. It will be better if you write like that. Minus sacrificing share. Always remember to take the share. That is the proportion you have to take, not the ratio. You understood? So, here we have to take the proportion we have already written x sacrifice is 1 by 12 that proportion you have to take don't directly take from this ratio 1 by 3 if you take it is wrong so here is 6 by 12 so remember to take the proportions always then y's new share is equal to 
5 by 12 that is his old proportion minus what is his sacrificing proportion can you take 2 by 3 no that is the ratio but sacrifice proportion is 1 by 6 isn't it yes 1 by 6 make it to the common base so it will be 5 minus 2 3 by 12 then we have one more partner that is uh, is it is it mentioned is it share no but it is written like he is taking 1 by 12 from x 1 by 6 from y so what x and y sacrifice will be same as is it share what was x sacrifice 1 by 12 what was y sacrifice 1 by 6 so what they sacrifice the total of these two will be equal to what z gets or that is his new share so 2 plus 1 3 by 12. So now we got the final ratio, new ratio between x, y and z. Already we computed sacrificing ratio. For that we didn't apply any formula. We just took the proportions directly from question. Since it was mentioned as 1 by 12 from x, 1 by 6 from y. So here it is. Uh, is it the first partner 6 by 12? Yes. 6 is 2, 3 is 2. 3 or you can make it to the lowest form as 2 is 2, 1 is 2, 1. 